Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going over a setting change in VR that can improve response time and improve FPS. So if you would like to know more about that, then stay tuned right here on 2020 Flight Simmers. Alright, so getting right into this, now one of the things that I noticed when I first started up the Mixed Reality Portal, keep in mind I am running dual monitors here, on my second monitor, all of my icons on the display disappeared. When I open the display menu in Windows, it was showing all these other displays. So what that caused was some lag while I was in VR in the flight sim. And also it was kind of a hindrance because I could not see any of my icons on my second monitor. So let's talk about how we can fix this and improve our response time and increase our FPS just a bit. And don't forget to go down below and hit that subscribe button and tick that little bell because you don't want to miss any future videos. And if this video does help you out today, smash on that thumbs up button. So the first thing that we need to do to get rid of all these multi-monitors, we want to open the Mixed Reality Portal and then go right down here to the bottom lower left hand corner and click on the three little dots. When you do, you want to go down to the Settings tab, click on that and it's going to open up our Windows setting menu. We're going to go down to Startup and Desktop and then we're going to scroll all the way down here where it says Classic Apps. Now if yours does not say this, we're going to talk about the workaround for you guys. But for those of you that your menu is showing this, we just want to go ahead and tick this in the off position. Now what that's going to do is that's going to turn off all those virtual monitors and create less stutter for us inside the sim. So now we just need to verify that that's been taken care of and close out of the Windows Mixed Reality Portal. And then we're going to go down here and open the Mixed Reality Portal again. Now for those of you on multi-monitor, when you open that Mixed Reality Portal for that second time, you're going to notice it opens very quickly and you don't lose any of your icons on your second monitor. Now what I want to do is go right down here to the search bar and just type Rearrange. When you type in Rearrange, you're going to find that the Rearrange Multiple Displays System Settings will populate here. And we can tick on that again and just verify that all of those virtual monitors have dropped off now. And same goes if we head over here to the Mixed Reality Portal, go down here to those three little dots again, click on the settings, and then go to Startup and Desktop, we can see that the Create Virtual Displays is still unticked here. Now once you've verified all that, you're pretty much done. Open up the simulator and you're good to go. And thank you for joining us here today on 2020 Flight Simmers. If you haven't done so, make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe and tick that little bell. If this video did help you out today, smash on that thumbs up button. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Now, for those of you that do not have this classic applications menu, we're going to talk about what you need to do right now. So let's talk about the workaround that you need to do to get rid of those virtual monitors. So you need to head right down here to the search bar or the search menu and just type in reg edit. Now, once you just type in reg, probably the registry editor is going to pop up here and we're just going to click on that. Hit yes. And then that is going to open up the registry editor. Here's where we're going to need to go to. First, you're going to click on the H key current user. That's going to drop down a menu. You're going to click on the software. That's going to drop down a menu. You're going to then go all the way down to Microsoft. That's going to pop drop down a menu. And you're going to head all the way down here to Windows. That's also going to drop down a menu. You click on current version. That'll drop down a menu. And we're going to go down to holographic and that's going to drop down a menu. Now you just click on the holographic menu here. And it's going to bring up a couple different options over here on the right hand side. Now you probably are missing this one option here that says pre allocate virtual monitors. So what you need to do is create that file here. So you need to right click on your mouse, go to new and then create a new D word 32 bit value and just click on that and then it will create that new file for us. Now all you need to do is just change the name of that file to pre allocate virtual monitors 
So I'll zoom in here so you can just copy this down. Then you just want to paste that into the new folder name. Now once you have that pasted in here in your new folder name, you just want to double click on that and it's going to open up the values for that folder. Then you just want to make sure that you have the value set at zero and then hit OK and you are pretty much set to go. Now just restart your PC then open up the Mixed Reality Portal and then go down to the bottom, hit rearrange and then you can just verify that all those virtual monitors have dropped off for you. All right, so for you guys, I wanna thank you for sticking around and joining us. If you have any questions, please post those down below in the comments section. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to go down below and hit that subscribe and tick that little bell. Well, to all my flight simmers out there around the world, keep the blue side up and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching everybody.